Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, a lot of you have been sending in emails and things like that uh, to me, asking me how I can get my Rodecaster Pro to work well with vMix. Well, I tell you what, it took me uh, probably about an hour to figure this thing out because I kept getting all kinds of echoing and things like that. So I'm going to show you guys the trick to make it work flawlessly with vMix with vmix call and it's all honestly there's a couple things that you want to do one setting in vmix and then the other one is a setting right here on the roadcaster pro and the roadcaster pro setting was the one that was throwing me off the whole time so i want to share that secret with you guys to help save you all some time because i know that uh, time is valuable and uh, there's a lot of folks that want to know about it so without further ado I'm going to show you the settings to make on your Rodecaster Pro to where it will talk with vMix and then we're going to come back here and I'll show you the settings that you need to make in vMix to work with the Rodecaster Pro. So on the Rodecaster Pro you see I've got my USB audio level all the way up right now but what you want to do is you want to go in click on this little gear icon there click on hardware then you want to click on advance then audio and you see where it says enable mix minus you want to turn that on so I just turned it off but I'm going to turn it back on to save it for our personal use here so that's how you do it you need to have that on and you need to have that on for vmix to work flawlessly with the Rodecaster Pro Okay, now the settings in vMix, what we want to do is, first of all, you want to make sure that, and this is my uh, desktop here, don't mind all that stuff that's on there, uh, but what you want to do is you want to come over here to speakers, make sure that Rodecaster Pro is selected. Um, obviously, we've already brought in our Rodecaster Pro, added it as a microphone here, so you're seeing me uh, talk as well as the meter going up and down. Well the secret in vMix that you need to make sure that you have working is this right here. You can go on and you get that echo as you hear or you could turn that off and you won't hear it back into your headphones and that really is the secret inside of vMix to make the Rodecaster Pro work flawlessly with what you're working with when you have vmix call people coming in or when you have uh, just regular productions like this one here so that's the secret in vmix to to make and it's just I mean it's really basic just turn that off and you just do so normally it's lit up green but now we turn it off and we're good so you can see on my Rodecaster Pro my levels to my USB is up now if I was to go back in here and go back into the advanced settings back in the audio and I turn mix minus off watch this so mix minus is off and you're gonna hear a bunch of echoes coming in off of that so we want to keep that on. Again, that's the optimal settings inside of vMix and inside of the awesome touchscreen display of the Rodecaster Pro. So happy streaming, everybody. I know a lot of you uh, were interested in that. And good luck. We'll see you guys soon.